Here are some screenshots of actual money hitting my account using the method that I'm about to show you. That's right, this is a method that I've been using for years. And I know you've seen lots of videos out there about side hustles. Just click ChatGPT and you're gonna get rich, they say. Or go clean out people's garbage bins. Have you seen that one? Get out of here. So today, you are in for a treat. I'm actually gonna show you a real method that makes real money. It's free and completely easy to do. But first, a question. What's the difference between someone making $8 an hour and someone making $60 an hour? If you think you know, put it in the chat box and the comments below. And if you said thoughts, you are correct. But we're not talking about positive mindset, kumbaya, law of attraction. No, we're talking about the thoughts that differentiate you in the marketplace. For example, a doctor has very expensive thoughts because they went to med school and they know a lot about the human body. When I go to a doctor and say, hey, what's this? They know exactly what it is because they went to school and that made their thoughts worth lots of money. But what about you? Maybe you don't wanna to go to med school or you don't have a quarter of a million dollars to go to some fancy lawyer school or something like that. How are you gonna be able to make $60 an hour or more? Well, when it comes to the world of AI and ChatGPT, it all has to do with the thoughts you have that determines the output you get from AI. And right now, there are lots of people wanting good quality content that you can create using ChatGPT or any other AI program in about 15 minutes and get paid tons of money. <laughs> and it's actually extremely simple. So if you can give me just 90 minutes of your time, I guarantee that you are gonna learn a method that is worth over $60 an hour. Now, it is gonna take some effort. You will have to learn a few new things that you probably didn't know before, but all in all, I think this is gonna be one of the most important trainings that you ever watch if you're interested in making money online with a simple little side hustle. Because I'm gonna show you how this side hustle works and how you can use free AI tools to get paid as much as $1 every minute that you work. Second, I'm gonna show you exactly where to go to find people that are willing to pay you tons of money for this simple little service. And third, I'm gonna show you how to ramp it up exactly like I did to make over $60 an hour if that's what you wanna do. Now remember, the results are not typical, implied, or guaranteed. The average person watching make money online videos makes nothing. However, I think you're gonna see that this method is super simple and it works for those willing to give it an honest try. So if you're ready to learn this method, get your notebook, get a pen, smash a like button, because we're starting right now. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show. Today, what I'm gonna do is walk you through a very simple side hustle that I believe can make $60 an hour or more. We're gonna talk about ways that you can ramp this up, ways that it works, and kind of how to get started and everything like that. By the end of this video, you're gonna know exactly what you need to do so that you can go and do it. It's gonna be extremely simple, but we're gonna need a little bit more coffee because we got a lot to go through today. So get ready with your notepad and your pen and everything like that. And we are gonna go through this method step by step, line by line, very, very simple. So what we're gonna do first of all is take a look at what this is. When we're looking at a side hustle, we need to look at proof of concept that there's actually money in the market. Now, in just a minute, we're gonna go over here and I'm gonna show you the magic Thing that is not working apparently there we go the magic thing over here uh, behind this screen or piece of paper rather I'm gonna show you the magic words that are gonna make this thing work now this is something that you can use using free AI tools if you want to use Bard or chat GPT the free versions will be plenty enough we are also going to use a keyword tool you can use the Ahrefs keyword tool right like this this is actually the free keyword tool so it's very simple to use. It doesn't cost anything. Yes, you can start this with literally nothing. Now, for those of you who are in it to win it, there are some methods I'm gonna show you that will cost a little bit of money. 
but I'm not asking you to pay me. You actually go and, and get the tools on your own, right? I'm not making much on this at all, but you might. So we're gonna show you how this works. And again, what I wanna do is share something of good value because I know there's a lot of junk out there and I wanna show something that actually works that you can use and get a result. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take a look at different places that actually sell content, okay? The idea here is gonna be content, but I want you to focus really, really closely because nobody on planet Earth wants content. Just like you look at Netflix, nobody wants content. Like Netflix doesn't want content, they want viewers. This is very important because if you understand this, this is gonna be like I talked about in the beginning where those thoughts are going to make you the money. And it's not law of attraction, this is something very, very simple. So here we have content at scale. You can see that uh, this is a tool that actually costs money. If you look at the pricing, this is for AI content. So people are paying as much as $1,500 a month or more for AI generated content. I am one of those people. I actually pay a lot more than that for AI generated content. Now, you can generate AI content for free, which means that if you could do as good as one of these services and add this little magic touch, I think you can actually make a lot more. Now, with this, what we're looking at, this one here allows 100 posts per month at $1,500 a month, which means if I could make a piece of content using AI for free, and create it as good as some of these platforms, then I can make $15 per piece of content. Now, what I'm gonna teach you here is how to make these in about 15 minutes. Pretty simple, right? Very, very, very important. So we're gonna look at this, and we are gonna take a look and understand how this works, okay? Very important, because again, remember, the key here is that nobody wants content. Well, Marcus, you don't understand. These people over here are paying money for content. Yes, but that's not what they want. They want something else, and that's super, super important. Now, when we look at this, we can also see Hire Writers. Hire Writers is a popular place that you can buy content from. I have bought over $100,000 worth of content from this website, and you can see that some stuff, like a 100-page 100 page article or ebook, is about $1,250. Okay, that is the going rate of what people are paying right now. You can look this stuff up, you can actually see it. And we're actually gonna go through a printout, which yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is a printout that I made using AI. This is what we're gonna use for the video. You can see here, it actually goes through and talks about different things about articles and the pitfalls and the, the bad stuff about buying articles from human writers. Kind of interesting, right? So now we have this article. We're gonna talk about this in just a little bit. But we can see here, people are actually paying for this stuff. I'm gonna show you in a real world way. Now, we are not talking about going on hire writers and applying for a job and making content. We are not talking about going to iWriter or any of these other sites, uh, people per hour. This is not what we're talking about. Because if you go there, you're gonna get run of the mill, $4 an hour at best, and it's gonna be a pain in the neck. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at this and understand what's going on. Now, I wanna show you proof of concept here because if you look at the pricing over here on iWriter, um, I think, let's see, so 1,800 jobs posted in the last 30 days. That shows us there is demand. Uh, 8.3 8 million articles written to date. So like, let's say the average article is like, 25 bucks, we'll times this by 25, and you can see that this has literally like $200 million. That's a lot of money. Let me just make sure, yes, I did the math correctly. I had to double check because it seemed a little high. But how many of you guys, you look at that number and you're like, okay, this is something that can work. Right now we have 225 people watching us live. There's gonna be a lot more as we go through this. But if everyone here was to do this method, just using the results on this site alone, that's like a million dollars, right? So if you're looking at $60 an hour, we have to understand, okay, this is, this is feasible, right? If you think this is feasible, smash that like button and type 60 in the comments and let me know that you, see the reality of what's going on here. And again, we're gonna, we're gonna take a look at this. So when we look at these pricing, I think I'm paying on average, like I, I think 20 to $40 per article. Okay, so just me alone, 
okay I've been on both sides of the coin I've sold millions of dollars worth of content and I've bought uh, I bought over two hundred and fifty thousand dollars worth of content all right probably more than that but let's stay safe and say a quarter of a million bucks is right around where we're at we could see here 5600 articles I ordered on this site let's say uh, that's an average of twenty five dollars per article that's hundred and forty grand right there okay so we have to look at this and say okay this makes sense this completely makes sense I get it I can do it if you think you can do this right like literally we're gonna talk to you and I'm gonna show you how to go to chat GPT and make content that's worthwhile because most people don't teach you how to make worthwhile content your old buddy Marcus is gonna show you so if you're excited smash that little like button that way more people can see this video and get out of all those side hustles that don't work we want to show you stuff that actually brings home the bacon right and, and I like bacon bacon is good there you go so we're gonna go through we're gonna show you how this works now I'm gonna show you several things here number one we're gonna look at what is the value and what people are actually ordering on these sites here that are making millions and millions of dollars all right they're not actually selling content because again remember nobody wants to buy content and in just a minute I'm going to show you how this works with the special words that are going to make this work in a real world way now first of all we need to understand what is the value well again like I said nobody wants content let's take case in point we are going to look at a website which I think has brilliant brilliant marketing behind it whoever is on this company's content team needs to get a raise because they're really really smart and this is an example of how it works and this is a multi multi-million dollar company okay and this company sells something that lots of people like which is like toothpaste we all like toothpaste right if you don't use the old toothpaste then you know it's just not good but what we're going to look at here is the crest.com website so crest.com they go out there and they're like hey you know what we want to sell some mouthwash and some toothbrushes and some toothpaste and some whitening and all this fancy stuff but how are we going to do it right in addition to being crest which is like the king of this niche what are they going to do well what they did what they did is they looked for keywords of people that were looking this up so you have like crest crest whitening strips obvious now some of the other stuff that's not as obvious is stain on teeth or uh, something like cosmetic dentist early stage gum issues early stage tooth decay you got whatever that big long word is again remember then like, people went to school to understand that word I did not and we have other stuff here as well so what we see is a company like crest is using content to drive people to their product now this is a big example and I wanted to help you understand what's going on because here they are saying hey look at this we have um, how to get rid of tooth stain or something like that okay let's see if we can find one that's simple here let's see here something that's not going to show us weird pictures that we don't want to see right um, but what's going to happen here is they are going to google this stuff and they are going to get some kind okay so teeth sensitive to cold all right so this one here right you got 5700 people a month looking up teeth sensitive to cold and down here you have crest number two now how many of you guys already see and you're like wait a minute I get it to crest that is worth money I want you to smash a like button if you say I think crest ranking for this keyword teeth sensitive to cold getting 5700 searches a month is making some money on that keyword if you see that smash a like button let me know in the comments and the chat that you see that and also also it's very important to note if my mouse will go to this screen here there we go it's very important to note that you have arc dental health mouthhealthy.org and all these other sites so some of them like this guy is like a local business all right now we're getting somewhere again nobody wants content if you went to crest and said hey I'll write an article for you 
for a hundred dollars they're gonna say we don't want articles go away here's here's some floss have a nice day they're not gonna care however if you find businesses that do not understand what crest understands which let me let me give you a little input I've been doing this for 23 years and I want to show you how this works okay here we go and you can see the magic words are right back there we're gonna to get to that these behind this is the magic words that make this work now of all the businesses online that's a pretty good circle I don't know it's a little wompy over there but it's pretty good of all the businesses online I'm gonna say there's a small sliver that gets this which means all of these over here millions and millions hundreds of millions of businesses do not understand what you are going to understand at the end of this video they don't get it and if you get it this is what we're talking about because those thoughts if you get it you can go out there and make money pretty much on demand disclaimer the average person makes nothing because whatever the average person trying to make money online doesn't make anything but we're going to show you something where this is like hey here we go this is the info we need to know now when we go through we have to understand what is the value first of all the value is in understanding a keyword that i can rank for for a business for example let's say just the other day my car got pretty much totaled right <laughs> luckily everyone was okay but it got pretty totaled I, I got a picture on here I could show you uh, a little bit later and so I was like okay uh, I'm gonna call Allstate and get the insurance stuff and they were like hey you got to get an app and you got to get this and I'm standing there in the middle of the road and I'm like I don't have time to get an app so we just called the local tow truck guy right now think about this for a minute tow truck companies charge a lot of money to literally tow your car down the street right if they look at your car it's like 500 bucks how many of you guys know that you're like if a tow truck drives by my car and looks at it they they pretty much charge me that's a joke calm down but at any rate what if we did something like keyword explorer okay and you could do this in the free tool too you could do after car accident okay think about the lawyers think about the people that would want this traffic all right so now we have what to do after a car accident what to do after car accident not your fault and we could go through and we could look at all this stuff so we have all these keywords that these fancy lawyers how many of you guys get those annoying ads on tv that's like i am bob morgan and i am going to get you a million dollars all right they pay a lot of money because they get a lot of money so we're going to understand like hey what to do here these are things that people google so if you had content for something like what to do after a minor car accident what to do there you go that would be something that a car body shop would be into that would be something that a tow truck would be into that's something that all these people would be into and again remember ladies and gentlemen pay close attention this is going to be 90 minutes well spent but pay close attention because all these businesses don't understand it they don't get it crest gets it you're going to get it and that's what's going to make you worth money okay so when we go through and we look at it we're like okay i got it pretty cool so what i can do is something like what to do after a car accident or whatever it is or maybe you can go through and say maybe something like uh how to get rid of or whatever it is right we're going to find the businesses and we're going to make this work in a very simple way or let's say you're going to do like your old buddy Marcus did when he started his business and you'll go for like prom limousine or whatever okay and you go through and you're like okay we're going to go like this and we got like limousines for prom cheap prom limousines and stuff like that okay a lot of people looking up this stuff again I don't know if you had kids but I did and they, when they go to the old prom the limousine is like 2,000 bucks right I, I almost debated I was like I was thinking about this for a minute let me know what you guys think about this but I was thinking about it and I'm like okay I got two kids that's like eight proms two grand a pop that's 16,000 I could buy an old limo for 16 grand basically use it myself and then sell it at the end for the same 16 grand 
I don't know, or you know, whatever. But that was my thinking, okay? And then you gotta think like a business person. But we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna understand exactly how this works and say, okay, so I could go through and I can make content on these topics. So I could go to ChatGPT and I could say, write a simple outline for what to do after a auto accident with no injury. Okay, and we'll go like this, boom, there we go. Pretty simple, right? Now what we need to understand is how we are going to turn this into content that will rank. And it's very important to realize that this stuff actually does rank, right? You guys have seen, I've done this with uh, many of my sites, and this is what these companies want. Let's do new suv.org, okay? This is a site that we are doing right like this, okay? And we're gonna do right here, and you can see exactly what's ranking. So like this here, best SUV for visibility. Do you not think that my local, local car dealer would want a ranking like this, right? Like what if he ranked for this and sold one car a year, right? Here we are right here, SUV with best visibility. What if we went through? Uh, daily content is angry because I'm not answering his question about Warrior Plus. I don't do Warrior Plus, so I'm not gonna answer your question. That's not something I do. This is about a side hustle about content. So, I mean, you know, go click a video about something else if that's what you want. But we're gonna look at this and we're gonna understand exactly what's going on because this would be worth money, right? How many of you guys see that? You're like, this would be worth money to a local car dealer. And those local car dealers are making lots and lots and lots and lots of money, okay? Very, very important, okay? So we're gonna look at this. Okay, Daily Content says, this is a fake video. He makes money by you watching. Last month, I made close to $100,000. Less than 6,000 came from videos. So there you go, but at any rate, we're gonna take a look at this and we're gonna say, yes, this is something that actually works, right? This is something that would be worth money. So if I understand exactly what's going on and we look at this, right? And we look at this and we say to ourselves, let's see, who would, be, who would be interested in this? Okay, who would be interested in this? Now, again, we need to look at this and say, okay, we need to see what the value is. Okay, how many of you guys really, you understand that there is value in the Crest marketing? Okay, same thing we're gonna be doing with autos, with other stuff like that, okay? And what we're gonna do is say, okay, now what I need to do is understand a content method. So, someone comes to me, they say, hey, I have a local, termite, uh, what do they call it, exterminator, a termite exterminator, okay? And we're gonna do something like get rid of termites, right, like this, okay? And you can go through, and I think you have to click it a couple times on the free version here, okay? So we have get rid of termites. Now, how many of you guys would be like, yes, content that ranks for this stuff would actually make money for a termite Company. How many of you guys get that? Type termite, yes, or business, or something like that. Because if you get it, you're going to start to understand, okay, this is worth money. Now, you might say, well, Marcus, you know, does this actually work? Well, let's take a look at one of my client sites, termite site, right like this. And we could see it is actually ranking for lots and lots of stuff related to termites, right? Termites in concrete. Uh, does termite damaged wood need to be removed? Okay, and we see it's actually ranking. Okay, now, what if I told you that all of the content on this website was created with AI? Okay, gone are the days of having to go and research and write and be a good writer and all this stuff. If you know how to do this properly. 
okay? But it's a little bit deeper than like, hey, chat GPT, just write me something about termites. No, no, no. You got to learn the strategy, which is to take a company and say, I know how to get you more business using search engine marketing. This is super, super important. And the way we're going to do that is by understanding keywords that actually work. So what to do after an auto accident, no inju uh, injury, we can get this here. And then we could say, now please act as an SEO expert and write a, an article about, article, article, I think I spelled that wrong. And luckily, ChatGPT does know how to spell better than your old buddy Marcus here. Now please act as an SEO expert and write an article about this outline. Please make it geared for a website and business based in San Diego or wherever your client is based. Uh, lawyer, okay, or you could do um, uh, auto body repair shop or something like that. Auto San Diego, auto body repair shop, and shop, and include a call to action, right? And then what this is going to do is it's going to give lots of information on what to do, right? Look at that. What to do after an auto accident with no injury? A comprehensive guide for San Diego drivers. There's a little bit gives you the meta description and it gives you the intro and it writes the entire thing for you, right? And so now what we're understanding is, oh, wait a minute. So yes, this can take me approximately 15 minutes. What I need to understand is how to do the keyword research. And it's literally telling you, okay, put the name of the, the San Diego auto body shop here. And this is going to be what you do. And all you have to do is learn a little bit about blog posting, which we do on this channel all the time. And you start to understand exactly how this works and how to make it in a very simple way. Right? And Sandra says, what's the difference between SEO and SEM? SEO is optimizing for the search engine. SEM is search engine marketing, which is using the SEO to get money. So it's very simple. Now, Dufour says, are you cold calling these businesses? I am not. We are going to show you some ways to get these businesses in a very simple way. One of the ways could be local business groups. Just last week, I tested this method out. I went to a bunch of Orlando-based local business marketing groups on Facebook. Right? You could literally go and say, hey, I'm going to do, um, let's do Orlando business group Facebook. Right, And you're going to see all kinds of Orlando business groups. Some of them have little members. Some of them have like 23,000 members. And we can go in here and literally find these guys right then and there. Like if there's a guy uh, talking about swimming pools or something like that in Orlando, we can get them a lot of business. Right, It's very simple. And this is exactly what I'm doing because a lot of people are like, Marcus, do you actually do the business? Yes, I bought OrlandoPR.com so that I could do this exact business. And I'm doing this business for uh, 23 years. This is actually how I first started. And what we're going to do is we're going to show you the magic email in just a minute that makes this work. But first, what I want you to understand is, yes, there's money out there. People are paying for AI content. They're paying for handwritten content. They're paying for this stuff because they want the end result, which is I want to rank on the search engines. Now, if you understand how to rank and how to get business with this stuff, you can make this work in a very simple way. Now, when we're looking at this, what we want to do is understand our pricing structure. Now, we had said earlier that, you know, here's all these businesses and things like that. We had said earlier that the goal is, let's go to a new page and then we'll come back to the magic money word. But the goal was $60 an hour. Okay, utilizing this method I think is pretty easy because when I did this, I was charging two to three thousand dollars for a full website with this stuff, right? So pretty cool. Now that website would cost me or would take me maybe ten hours to set up totally, right? I would outsource the content, I would do the research. 
build the little website, put the stuff up, talk to the client. Very, very simple. Okay, so this is something that you can scale and make a lot of money. But if you just want to make $60 an hour, I believe that right there we, we made this content here with ChatGPT. We made this content. I could do a little bit of tweaking on the content. I think it's pretty fair to say I could do that in 15 minutes. How many of you guys think that? Type 15 minutes in the comments, type 15 minutes in the box. If you think you can do that in 15 minutes, that is where we are getting our $60 an hour. Okay, pretty simple. And all we're gonna do is position ourselves as a very, very important person in this market where we're like, hey, we're gonna help you get more business, right? Now, let me show you a little quick hack to making this work, all right? The quick hack is going to be what we call proof of concept, okay? A couple of, I think it was about a year ago, uh, we bought a domain name that was for an Alabama septic company. It was a septic tank company and septic tank people are, their business is septic tanks, not marketing. And so I bought this domain and within, I think it was within three days with some simple content that I outsourced, this thing ranked at the top of Google for all kinds of words related to that local city in Alabama and the septic tank words. It was very simple. Now, what we can do is we could get this. So I bought that domain. It was a very good domain in the market. Since then, I sold it. I think I sold it for a couple thousand dollars or something like that. Um, and so since then, I bought that domain for 98 bucks at auction, which that's a, sometimes you can get local ones even cheaper than that. Because when you're buying domains at auction, a lot of times it's businesses that, that, that you know, they went out of business or they just didn't get their domain or whatever it is. And so we went through and we got this domain and it worked in a very simple way. I think it might still rank today. I'll have to check it after the webinar. But when we went through and had that, that would be our proof of concept. So I could literally buy a domain at auction for $98 or, or less. Some of them you can get for 20 bucks or 12 or I've even bought in some good ones for $15, okay? So this, this part of the side hustle does cost a little bit of money. So you'd be out 98 plus, you know, $6 a month for hosting or whatever it is. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna prove the concept by putting AI on this domain and ranking for all kinds of local words. And then you say, hey, you know what? This is what I did with this, this septic company. It's getting traffic, it's getting business, everything like that. Very, very simple. Okay, so we look at that and we're like, hey, that's pretty cool. Now, Dave says lead gen is a lot of follow-up work. It, well, what, wait till you see the email because this, a lot of people do lead gen the wrong way and they're trying to sell rather than trying to start a conversation. Well, all I want to do is start a conversation. Hey, you want more business? Yeah. All right, what do you think about this? Cool. Yeah, usually it's like two grand for something like this, but hey, I'll, I'll do five pieces of content for a hundred bucks. Done, right? You guys see how simple this is? So very easy, and we'll get to that email in just a second, but what we need to understand Okay, we should be back, I hope. Hopefully we will be back. There we go, are we back? I think we're back, all right, there we go. Um, gotta love tech stuff, we have had a nightmare with tech. But what we're looking at here is how this works. Um, now Vision says how to rank in Google with AI content, it's very simple, have the right keyword. That's it, if you have the right keyword, you win. Um, and, and good content, right? We wanna make sure that this passes all the tests. And what we're doing here is we're looking at this and we're adding onto the structure, right? We're adding onto it saying, hey, this is something where I'm gonna get the structure here. And then I might say something like, now please write um, 10 things you, let's, let's say please write an article on 10 things you need to know before calling the auto body repair shop, right? So we can go through and we could start to add this stuff in a very simple way. So now we have extensed the damage. And what you're doing is you're providing something helpful, 
right? That's the key. The key to search engine marketing is to uh, provide something helpful based on the keywords people are looking for and then point them to stuff that puts money in your pocket. And when you start to understand this, you're going to start to get it in a different way because a lot of people don't get how content marketing works. They think that like Gary Vee says, just make a bunch of content until you can't make any more content. Well, you can make all the content you want. I'm going to make content that gets traffic and sells. It's not just about scale and, and quantity. It's about quality. Like Crest, we look at this, they have a good plan where it's like, okay, now they're using the strategy, right? Crest.com is using the strategy where it's like, oh, I see how this works, right? It's very, very simple to do. And then what we're going to do is we're going to start to, to get this together and we are going to provide the proof of concept, get a domain, get it ranked, show how it works. Okay, once you have this, it's game over. You're like, hey, how do we know that you're trustworthy? Well, here's a site I own, right? There you go, there it is, it's ranking. And you start to understand that content marketing is about thinking differently for a business. Because most businesses are thinking, okay, we want to rank for auto body shop, right? Auto body shop. This is what they think they want to rank for. It's difficult, it's hard to get traffic. But what we're gonna do is we're going to look at this and see exactly what's going on, right? And now we could see, oh, auto and paint shop body near me. And you can pair this with website services, with content services, with all different kinds of things that are related to mobile auto body shop or whatever niche you're in, whether it's an antique store or whatever it is. Uh, Dave says, I like the Crest website approach. It's about, exactly, it's not about the product, right? If you understand that most of the money I have made is not product centered. When you understand that what we're talking about is the difference between horizontal marketing which is like this. Horizontal marketing is auto body shop Orlando. Auto repair Orlando. Fix car Orlando. Okay? This is linear horizontal marketing. Okay? What we want is vertical marketing. This is what Crest does. Vertical marketing is how do I whiten my teeth? How do I do this? What if I have bad breath? What if I have that? Boom. Or in this, what to do after a car accident? How to make an insurance claim? How much does whatever cost, right? How much does it cost to fix this? And we start to understand that vertical marketing keeps going and going and going. This is where the money's gonna be. And all these people that are plumbers and auto fixers and things like that did not study marketing. And lucky for you, you're getting a free marketing course right here. Smash the like button if you're digging it. And so we start to understand, okay, this is where it's at. Then all I need to do is find these things here, okay, and watch. Cost, repair, dodge. There you go. You gotta find all different kinds of things. Cost repair, uh, cost to replace, bumper. Bumper, how do you spell bumper? Cars don't even have bumpers anymore, mostly. Some do, but not all of them, right? And we're gonna have cost to replace the bumper. And we're gonna start to understand, hey, this is pretty cool. Cost to replace a bumper, very little competition, okay? Watch, auto body shop. Super expensive, super competitive. Now, if I can go through and go to ChatGPT and say, please write an article about the cost to replace bumper on 10 popular vehicles. Okay? Now we're going through and we're like, okay, this makes sense here. It's a little slow, but there you go. 1500, this here, very, very important. And we're starting to understand, okay, now I have something that I can use. And this is something where if you do it, I believe if I did it and the times I have done it, 
I've been able to make $60 an hour, very, very simple, right? And then once you have this, right? Once you have a client who's happy, it's game over. Because now you have this client who's happy and you could say to that client, okay, how about for $1,500 a month, we will put up, I don't know, 12 pieces of SEO good content to your site. And we'll help you with everything. Very simple. And all you're doing is using ChatGPT and other things to make content that's good. And what you're doing is getting those thoughts that are different, right? The thoughts instead of, okay, well, how do I make money online and what's the best side hustle to how do I provide value? This, how many of you guys understand that this is value? This is value. Very simple. Like you could go through and you could say, hey, you know what? I'm new. I'll give you the first piece of content free. It doesn't cost you anything. But the problem is, is everyone is so uptight about, oh my God, I can't do anything free. Oh my gosh. I'll tell you, the way that I started my business is I went and I found businesses on PayPal. I was like, okay, these guys on PayPal, they want more business. What if I just got a list of them and sent everyone a dollar in PayPal? Cost me a whopping $100, a whopping $100. And I sent them all a dollar. So now I got a hundred people that I gave a dollar to. And I said, do you want to get more dollars like this in your PayPal? Call me. The phone would light up. And I said, here's a plan I got for you. Basically the plan I'm showing you here, right? And we understand, okay, now using this strategy, which hopefully our notepad goes here, what we can do is take an email. This is the exact email that I used. It's very simple, okay? Dear name, that's where you put Rockville Plumbing, right? Or whatever their name or business is, all right? I have some ideas to get more business to your plumbing or whatever it is website. Now, if you want a lot of business, put your phone number, okay? So you get a phone number for business, you say contact me ASAP. Why? Because nobody uses phones anymore. Just like when I was standing on the side of the road and I couldn't get an Allstate person, you gotta download an app. It's like, you think people who are dealing with cars in the middle of the intersection have time to get an app? Get out of here. If someone came up and said, hey, I will take care of your claim for you. Give me 500 bucks. I'd be like, here you go, go take care of it. I don't wanna deal with it. There you go. But we're gonna understand, hey, this works. This works. I know it works because I have a phone number and it gets, it calls all the time, right? I hardly ever check it because I'm so busy, but people still want the personal touch. How many of you guys get that? You're like, hey, this is pretty cool. This makes sense, right? Very, very, very important. And like Dave says, all the stuff he gets in his email about how to rank his site are all not giving a phone number. We give a phone number, we win. Like how many of you guys would buy my products if I called you? Like we got a, we got a high ticket niche product, which I think it's been flashing on the screen there or somewhere, it's on the screen there, right? How many of you guys, if I called you up, you'd be like, yeah, I'll buy it. Like Marcus is gonna call me and talk to me? Sure, I'll buy it. All right, so what if I spent five hours on the phone? Actually, I did this. Back during uh, 2001, we all know what happened in 2001, um, I was a little worried about business because things were, I mean, everyone was worried. And so what did I do? I said, hey, check this out. What I'll do is I'll give you a one hour call with me, or I think it was 30 minute call for $97. At the end of the call, if you don't think it's worth $97, we refund it and that, that'll be the end of it. If you do think the call's worth $97 and you decide to invest in a marketing plan with me, then your $97 goes towards that. So you can't lose, right? It was like, you pay, you either get it back or you get this. Now for you guys, getting someone to do, uh, to pay 97 to do that might be a little different because you're new, but you don't have to do that. What you're gonna do is say, hey, uh, I'll call you up and, and I'll give you a plan. And you can use that plan free or if you decide to go with my stuff, um, 
then you can you can do that but that's the thing is people don't realize the personal touch and you go out there and you're like oh well Marcus you know I uh, I, I like I go in these groups and I'm not gonna get stuff so here's what you do you learn this stuff really good right you do your homework you want to make 60 bucks an hour act like it there's too many people out there that are like where's the button Where's that button that uh, is going to make me $60 an hour? I mean, doesn't ChatGPT just pay people? No, it doesn't. They, they cost money, right? I think it's like 20 bucks, something like that. But we're going to go out there. We're going to say, well, what if I went out there and I made a local business podcast? You don't need many of them. I'll tell you right now, I got a buddy I taught, um, really smart gal back in 2019 she came to me she says marcus i want to learn some of the stuff you do can i interview you on my channel and you can actually go look at the interview back from 2019 and um, i told her about a strategy i was using she went out there she went to facebook groups she had like nine people on her webinar she'd go on facebook live and she'd be like today i'm going to teach you. she had like nine people and i'm like okay whatever a couple years later last i heard She's making $300,000. Oh man, that's a good yearly income. Yeah, but that's her monthly income. And all she's doing is teaching people how to market their businesses on Facebook. It's very simple. She started with nothing. She got nine people. She said, hey, come on. Let's do this. I'll teach you how to do it. Right? And you go on Facebook or YouTube or whatever it is, and you're like, hey, today, I'm going to teach lawyers how to get more business to the lawyer business. I'm going to teach these people how to get more business to that. And you go on there and you share. You don't even have to be on camera. You could literally do this with your voice. Marcus, I don't want to use my voice. Well, then you don't really want to make money that bad, do you? Right? Like, seriously, my voice sounds, I hate the sound of my voice. But hey, you know what? I got some stuff to teach and we're going to look at this because this works now are you gonna make 300 grand a month no have I had some clients that have done that yeah some have done more some students have done more most students make nothing that's because most people want to be entertained they don't want to go out there and do the work yet they'll go work for eight hours all day every day and, and make less right to me I'm like hey if I could spend eight hours I'm gonna spend it wisely and I'm gonna learn about this how many realtors are out there and they buy content, they buy regurg. I got a buddy uh, up in Canada. This guy sells content. It's PLR content for realtors, for swimming pool installers, for plumbers, and he just does PLR content. You could use ChatGPT to make that stuff. It's very simple, and guess what? He's out there, he charges $97 for the kit of 100 articles for a realtor. What are you gonna do? I'm going to go out there, I'm going to charge a thousand bucks, but I'm going to make it custom and I'm going to base it on the keywords in their market and I'm going to help them with it. That ladies and gentlemen is values. That is value. And we start to understand, wait, you're telling me I could spend 10 hours and make a thousand bucks. If you know what you're doing, yes, you can. But you have to understand how this works. It is going to take work, right? Like, I don't know. To me, it's better than cleaning out the trash cans like those other side hustle people. I don't like, I don't even like cleaning out my own trash can. I don't even like taking it to the curb, right? In Florida, the trash cans are not, it's not good. But then you look at it and you're like, wait a minute. So I could sit here and, and, and maybe spend a couple of hours and make something valuable for a business just by understanding, ah, this is it. And some of you guys watching might go out there and make a business doing this. I've done it several times. I've taught people how to do it. It's not difficult. It just takes persistence and work. And the first couple emails might not buy your stuff. The first people that watch your Facebook thing might not buy your stuff. And most people go, oh, Marcus, yeah, it doesn't work. I talked to one guy and he didn't give me money. Marcus, it doesn't work. Well, did you talk to 10 people? Maybe one out of 10 will give you money. If one out of 10 doesn't give you money, maybe you're a terrible salesperson and you need to work on that. This gal here, um, her name's Kim, and she was out there and she's like, I don't know how to sell. And so I was like, hey, let's, let's design your webinar like this. By the end, I was like, dude, she's like kind of selling better than I am now. 
and it wasn't even that hard in the span of a couple of years she was able to build something that made lots and lots of money and that's what this is about if you're looking for a side hustle if you're looking for something that actually works and is tangible and you start to understand most businesses do not get this if you get this you are going to be in a league of your own and if you understand how to make this work and how to make promos and different things like that business owners are busy they're busy i'm busy and so we start to look at this and understand okay how can i help these people with kim she was like oh i know these people want to monetize their facebook groups good i'll make this little tool there you go pretty cool now the key is to lead with something of value right notice how if i came on here and i was like here's a 60 dollars an hour side hustle now please pay me a hundred dollars to watch my live video on how to make a side hustle you're gonna be like marcus i'm not gonna pay you a hundred nothing i just want to learn some stuff and so what do i do i work my tail off and i make a good presentation for you to learn this stuff how many of you guys think that hey yeah i've paid a hundred dollars for courses that didn't teach me as much as you're teaching me now right and i give it away free and i give it away to where it's like eh, I, I probably should charge for this but i'm not going to because in the long run if i don't charge for it then i can make big numbers this is where you get the big numbers you don't charge for stuff you probably should right you go out there you say hey i'm gonna find 50 different businesses or 10 different businesses and i i'm gonna be like hey i'll write you a free article if you if it ranks on google and you don't think it's gonna make you money then don't pay for it but when it pops up on google and you're like hey i'm number five on google for termites in orlando and people are paying 50 bucks a click if you think it's worth 100 bucks then you can pay me for it if you don't don't right take the risk out hey don't worry about it we're going to take the risk out and that's what this is about you look at this uh, youtube channel i create this youtube channel because i want to give good information i want to give free information stuff that's like hey i could probably charge for this all right but the idea is i want to let you know that i'm sharp as a tack i know my stuff and what i know can help you make money when you go to these businesses you want to let them know you're sharp as a tack you know your stuff and you can help them get more business because here's the deal if I help one guy get one plumbing client, like I had a plumber here last week, it was like 500 bucks. We had an air conditioner guy, it was like 500 bucks. Every time you turn around, it was like 500 bucks. And it was all profit because they didn't install anything, they just fixed stuff, right? And you're like, hey, if you get one client from what I do, you're gonna 5X your money. All I'm asking is a little $100 per article or $60 an article or even $15 an article now if you want to do this in a super simple way yes you can sell ai content right you can say hey what keywords do you want we'll do some research and i'll do this for you You can go to fiverr you can go to people per hour you can go to some of these content sites you can set up your own agency what i'm doing right now is we are actually working on setting up an agency for content because as i showed you earlier these content sites Oh, let's see there we go you got to be able to see my misspelling right um, these content sites are making millions now I not I might not be able to sell 200 million dollars worth of content but could I make 120 grand a year well that would be 60 bucks an hour All right little tip if you ever want to know how much the the yearly earnings are on an hour just take the hour times it by 2,000 Boop, there you go. You make five bucks an hour, you're making 10 grand a year. You make 12 bucks an hour, you're making 24 grand a year, right? And it's very easy to understand. And what this is about is math. If you understand math, you get it. And it's basic math. It's not like that stuff that I flunked out of high school with, which was, uh, you know, all that fancy, crazy stuff. It's very basic. You could, you could even go to Google and type it in. But when we understand exactly how this works, you could go through and say well maybe there's a guy who specializes in fixing subarus right uh, what are the most expensive fixes on a subaru it's a weird word what is a subaru right and then we're like okay here we go and then you could say here you go it's, it's actually giving prices and stuff and so we start to look at this and say wow so i can go out there 
and I can make this work. And again, um, Facebook groups is a great way to get clients. Just find business groups and, and get involved in the community, right? Like what if I went in that Orlando group and I'm like, hey, on Saturday, I'm gonna answer all your questions about how to market your site. And at the end, you'll walk away with a plan. I, if, unless you are terrible at, at you know, doing anything, you should be able to get some sales. And it's very easy. So you're like, well, Marcus, how do I take money? You can take money with PayPal, Stripe, very simple, right? You set up a PayPal and you're like, hey, I'll just PayPal invoice you for the stuff that you wanna pay for, very simple. Um, make sure that you do really good and understand what's going on. Um, and, and, and then there you go. And, and one of the tips I'll give you is be an expert in one service. Because if you go out there and you do limos and uh, plumbers and you know elephant trainers or whatever it is, you're gonna spread yourself too thin and your testimonials are gonna be all over the place. If I'm a limo store guy or a limousine company owner and I get a, a sales letter or a message or an email and it's like, hey, I did this for other companies, look at this elephant guy, look at this stuff, look at that stuff, they're not gonna be as inclined as if I say, hey, you know, Tom's limo down the street got a bunch more visitors. This guy, Bob's limo over here, got a bunch, of, they're gonna be like, wow, this guy knows what he's talking about for limo companies, and it's gonna work very, very simple. Dave says, prepping to sell content to real estate agents, this is actually very helpful. Exactly, and this is the kind of thing where you wanna make a business that could make anywhere from 15 to $60 an hour, or even a quarter of a million dollars a year, again, Results not typical, implied, or guaranteed. But if you want to do that, this is the path. And this is kind of the stuff that we teach here all the time. And just so you guys know, I don't have a course on local business marketing. This is a 100% free training that I want you to go use because I'm tired of seeing people talk about side hustles that are so easy and they don't teach you how to do them. Is this easy? Yeah, it's pretty simple. Is this fun? Yeah, it's pretty simple. And we start to understand, hey, wait a minute. This is something I can actually do. All I need to do is bridge the gap, focus, and make sure that the AI gives good content. Right? We're going to go through. I'm going to be like, OK, does it start talking about how to walk your dog? Yeah, maybe I want to I take that part out. Now, how many of you guys want an extra special tip that I am going to have a video on in the up and coming weeks? This tip will knock your socks off. I actually use this tip over here, and you can see um, I'm doing this over at Content at Scale because this is a pretty simple prompting method. Now, you can get similar results if you know how to prompt. Um, let's see, how do we get to our projects? There we go, it's just being slow. But I wanna show you something very cool because there's a hidden, let me backtrack a little. All right, I, I want you guys to get this because it's super, super important. There is a hidden source in AI, okay? There's a hidden source in AI that people don't know about. Just yesterday, I was out there and I have, you guys know I buy domains like they're going out of style. I buy thousands of domains every single year. And I start to understand, okay, what is going on? How does this work? And so I went and I'm like, okay, we need to organize these domains so that we could sell domains. All right, and I had this list and I went to um, my GoDaddy and it just wouldn't export the right way. So I went to ChatGPT and I'm like, hey, check it out, remove uh, commas and stuff from these domains, organize these domains in a table and it made the nice little table showing what I paid for them and everything, right? Super simple. That's something that people pay for. Now, how many of you guys before today, you were like, ah, I didn't know that if I gave ChatGPT a bunch of stuff, it would make a nice little table. I didn't know that. Type it in the box. A lot of people don't know this, okay? Now, that's not all. Because what I actually did is I used my content at scale to analyze Reddit reviews on content services. Wait, Marcus, what are you talking about? Okay, bear with me here. We're gonna have an upcoming video. This is why you need to be subscribed to my channel, right? I don't care if you buy something from me or not, watch this stuff, it's worth gold. So, I went through and I said, look at the Reddit 
reviews okay and I gave it the page right I had a little link I said here's the page I want you to look at this and I think it'll show you the actual page here somewhere in here it'll show you um, so I gave it the page and I said to it I think actually could I find it here okay yeah so this actually shows what it used right and then I went and it's showing a history somewhere in there right and it's gonna go through and it's gonna look at the page and I was like tell me oh there we go I I'm just showing the screen there here we go what I did was I went and I found reddit uh, info okay and the reddit info was on um, content writing stuff so I was like hey what do you guys think of iWriter and hire writers because for me it's really hit and miss like I could pay for content and sometimes throw it in the trash it's no good sometimes it's fantastic and so I wanted to see what this was because if I could figure this out follow with me if I could figure this out if I could go to AI and say check out reddit reviews check out um, other review sites for these different content places then literally in instant I can find out what the flaws are if I know the flaws then all I need to do is say now create me a sales letter and a product idea for content that I could get with AI based on what people are struggling with and it went through and it was like hey check this out experiment with content writers so an entrepreneur experimented with 17 different websites here's what he found he needed originality research presentation relevance all of this we can do with AI we can edit it make it good common issues penny a word or over 50 cents a word you dealt with plagiarism okay we're gonna solve that because we're gonna run our stuff through checkers then we are going to go and look at poor research inconsistency quality okay interesting very cool then we're gonna look at all the issues lack of expertise inadequate research weaker arguments and then it goes through and talks about the different places right here's the platforms here's what they cost here's how it worked okay now I can go through and say hey wait a minute so you can actually use AI to evaluate something and now um, helix says the info you get this way will be outdated no it won't because what we're doing is we give it a live site right so this is actually based on a live site on reddit and a lot of times I mean it doesn't like is it gonna matter if my what to do after a car accident report is written in 2008 versus now not really right so we're gonna look at this and we're gonna understand hey check this out now we got like something cool now I can go through I can take this content right and it's, it even gives me links it's pretty crazy accurate how this works and then I'm gonna go through and I can take this content and I think I did one of these okay I was trying to get it here ChatGPT kind of failed on that but then I gave it the content so I said here's what it was right I went to reddit I scraped some content from it and I said based on this uh, what did I say summarize this and come up with a plan for a better content creation service package in a sales letter and it was like hey here's the issue here's all these other places what we're gonna do is have X Y and Z very simple okay and we're going to start to understand that it's not just about hey give me this article no it's not about that it's about understanding what AI's strong point is which is it's a computer so it's going to analyze data oh well Marcus you don't understand it writes article yeah how does it write an article it analyzes data well Marcus you don't understand I got it to do this yeah how does it do that it analyzes data and if you can get it to analyze data in a super super fast way and you can understand what these businesses are going to want right we know that millions and millions of dollars hundreds of millions of dollars every year probably billions of dollars is spent on content writing 
then we go through and we're like oh I can understand how to get this to give me a good piece of content I can go through and say okay well maybe we go through and say um, what are the common scams and ripoffs when getting a new roof on your house this is content where I could go through and I could say okay this is looking pretty good this is something that a roofer might be interested in now please tweak this as if you are providing a quality report as a roofing company in Orlando, Florida. Make it advertorial style. 3,000 words, please. Now, we're going to go through and now it's your trusted partner for high quality roofing solutions in Orlando when it comes to ensuring this is something that can work really well, right? And we could say, okay, continue. But then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and say, well, maybe make me a checklist, right? How many of you guys are like, okay, I got a pet peeve. And this is something my dad taught me. Um, my dad taught me a lot about business. Um, unfortunately, he passed in 2022. But... He taught me a lot about business and one of the things he taught me because back in the day he was a realtor in the 70s back when i was born right he was a realtor and i always watched what he did and i'm like dad's kind of a different realtor than than other people and i was always fascinated with the way he did it and he knew that he could pretty much sell any house and that any house can find a buyer that's a fact so what he did is he took his business card okay he turned it over to the blank side back then it was too much money to get double-sided business cards i don't even think they made them back then and so we went through and he he wrote in handwriting right i remember um he he would do this in handwriting he said i have a buyer for your house call me and he left it on the door and he'd leave it on thousands of doors and it was like oh all these other realtors are doing notepads with their face called Bob the realtor, yeah, I hope you like my notepad. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. What do they care about is I have a buyer for your house. And even if they're not interested in selling, they're probably going to call you to see, well, how much is he offering? And dad was like, well, I think I can get 380 for your house based on this, this, and this, and this. It'll probably take about 28 days to sell. You interested? Yeah, I'm interested. Boom. Right, like, like uh, Dave says, I'm your neighborhood expert. Nobody cares. If I come on here and I go, I'm Marcus and I've been an internet marketer for 23 years. I hope that you like my, nobody cares. What do they care about? What's in it for me? What was in it for them? I got a buyer for your house. You want some money? Thinking about getting out of your house? You give me a call. It worked. Then he used lots of other methods as well. And we start to understand that this is what this is about. And where do you think I got this? Look at this here. I have some ideas to get more business to your whatever website. Hey, that looks pretty similar. That looks very similar to that old business card. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been working for years. For years it's been working. And you start to understand, hey, wait a minute. What was, what was he doing? Well, he offered free info. Now, some people are going to go and they're going to say, well, you know, um, I'm not going to, I'm not going to evaluate the price of your house unless you sign here for me to be your realtor. Yeah. Nobody's going to do that. Nobody's gonna, I'm not going to do it. I remember one realtor, she's like, let me show you a house. And then she got mad because she's like, I'm your realtor. I'm like, no, you're not. You told me you wanted to show me a house. We never signed anything. But she thought, oh, I'm so valuable. That's a problem. Ladies and gentlemen, you know what's going you know to hammer you in this business? Three letters. Ego. Oh, Margaret, this is worth $5,000 because Russell Brunson said I should charge a bunch of money even though I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, he said that so you'd buy ClickFunnels. 
get real, right? Now he teaches a lot of good stuff, but I don't agree with the price whatever someone will pay, right? Like, I don't agree with that. Do you want your doctor to be like, oh, well, you know, you got $5 million? Well, then that's what it cost. That, ladies and gentlemen, is what we call scam pricing. I believe in real world stuff. And ego is what's gonna crush you in the business. Ego is what's gonna stop you from getting where you wanna go because you're gonna say, well, I don't wanna work for free. Well, maybe sometimes you gotta work for free to get the big dollars, right? People say, Marcus, why do you make so much content on YouTube? Well, it makes millions of dollars in one of my businesses. Why? Because people watch me, they say, hey, I think this guy knows what he's talking about. I think he knows exactly what's going on. And he gave me a bunch of free stuff and I liked his free stuff. I'll bet his paid stuff's pretty good too. And that's what you do. And we start to understand exactly what's going on. Um, Dave says, if it's so good, why do you need a complex system to sneak up on a prospect? Exactly. Like we should be selling stuff that people beat down our door to get. And guess what? Businesses are beating down their door, beating down our door to get customers. If I opened up to the public, Hey, I'm going to help you with your local business. I would be so swamped. I'd have to hire 50 people, right? So 50 of you guys can go out there and do it on your, on your own. And we start to understand, Hey, wait a minute. This is something that can work. And it's something that's fair, right? Other people, like they charge a, a, a lot. We're just like, hey, you want results? I'll get you some results. And if you like them, you pay me. And when they like them and they pay you, they're gonna want more. That's what, it, that's what it's all about. You guys like my videos, you smash the like button, you're gonna want more. And then eventually you'll probably buy something. And that's what we're looking at. And when we use AI, to do the data extraction, it's about how you use it. Because most people are gonna go here and they'll just be like, write about roofing, 3,000 words. Yeah, it's just gonna give you junk that nobody wants to buy. This is junk. Why? Does anyone know why this is junk? You might say, well, Marcus, this looks like good content, right? It's like those people. I'll never forget it. You, you hang out with enough marketing people and they'll talk to you and they're like, oh my God, I should have recorded that. That's so good. And I'm like, are you seriously like, I, I mean, the amount of self-worship is just like, wow. Okay. Yeah, yeah, no, I don't want to listen to it again. Why would anyone else, right? <laughs> but you start to understand. Um, Yuri says, explain the solution and offer it for free. That's the price you're getting for eyes. Exactly. Unless you have a bunch of money to advertise, you can go do this for free. Why not? Right? Instead of watching 400 more videos on side hustles, actually go out there and try this stuff. And guess what? Worst case scenario, you get no buyers, but you get better, which means you are increasing your value in the marketplace because you're going to learn. And guys, I've been doing this 23 years. And I learn new stuff every day. That's part of the reason I teach, right? When I teach you guys, I have to come up with new stuff. I have to learn it. If I wasn't, if I was just sitting, I wouldn't have looked at AI. I'd be like, oh, whatever, probably hype. But you guys were like, we want to learn about AI. So I learned about AI and guess what? It's added a lot of money to my bottom line. And we start to understand, hey, this is something. Now, when we look at this, why is this junk? How many of you guys, if you're honest, you don't know? Type don't know. If, you, if you're like, hey, I don't know the difference between this and, and this one over here, roofing scams. I don't get why this would be worth money and this wouldn't. If you're honest, let me know because I'm here to teach you and I want to make sure you get this because this is the, the fulcrum. Is it a fulcrum? Something like that. I don't know. There's a fulcrum that moves the world. Some kind of quote, right? Uh, Storm Chaser says he doesn't know. Okay, good. So what we want to look at is what makes this stand out is okay if i have a generic article on roofing okay hey here's the shingles here's this here's that what the problem is is nobody cares about this Nobody wants to read a generic roofing article unless you're taking a test on roofs. Nobody cares. 
my content roofing scams and ripoffs this is deliberately you want to make money start doing deliberate stuff everything needs to be deliberate this roofing scams and ripoffs all right put it to the test you own a roofing company print this thing out put your stuff on it and mail it to a thousand people in your local area hey I just want to let you know about the roofing scams and ripoffs here in Florida well Marcus I don't know about that well neither do I I mean I do because our insurance went through the roof because we're in Florida and they just like to charge everyone for everything but we can do something like um, roofing scams Florida insurance okay I can go here and I could say okay cool so I want roofing scams property okay copy here's another one so I can do this now ladies and gentlemen if you don't believe what I'm talking about what do you see with the news services so there's a news guy ABC NBC and then there's rooftop services of it's a roofing company what are they doing Corey Rudel years ago there's a guy named Corey Rudel he was the pioneer of online marketing back in the day and Corey Rudel had the internet marketing training center and he said something that literally changed my life educate inform and sell more educate inform and sell more roofing generic article eh, it's going to educate is it going to inform them on something that's relevant to them no okay so that's out educate roofing scams and ripoffs ah yeah 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 then it's going to inform them yeah 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 then we can sell more and we could see here these people are doing the exact same thing you could literally go out there and say I'm not even an expert but I have this flyer that I will adapt for you that will get you calls for your roofing company right and I know like it costs like 20 something thousand bucks for our new roof so they be making some money which means every customer is worth a potential twenty five thousand dollars which means they'll pay a lot for this and we start to understand hey there's a guy there here's another news one here's another news one hey wait a minute so Marcus are you telling me are you telling me that I could make a press release about the roofing scams in Florida and how insurance is going through the roof and ripoffs to watch out for and I could do that as a service for a roofing company and get them flooded with business overnight and then they will love me and buy things from me over and over that's exactly what I'm saying well Marcus what if I don't want to deal with customers well then do it yourself and do affiliate marketing very simple if you understand what I'm teaching in this training today this is stuff that can and has changed my life right I've made millions of dollars with this stuff understanding the difference between bad content good content and deliberately making PR to get business deliberately making content to get business this deliberate word next time you sit down to do a side hustle next time you say I want to make money online I want you to ask yourself is what I'm doing deliberate and what is it deliberately trying to do if you cannot answer that go do something else because if you can't answer this you are wasting your time that's why here on this channel all I focus on is deliberate stuff based on data Dave says in his area roofers are seven dollars a click they're paying seven dollars for one click guess what that press release if I did it that way and maybe I'll do a test just to show you guys how it works if I did it that way I would get over a thousand clicks meaning that press release is potentially worth seven thousand dollars if done right 
but you got to understand the difference you can't just be like hey new roofing company offers to roof roofs and we are great at roofing so great your dog is gonna say roof roof sorry the jokes are free calm down but we're gonna go through and be like hey wait a minute that's junk content good content is are you aware about this stuff are you aware of these roofers and these scams are you aware of this are you aware of that you're a realtor you want to market to realtors guess what you do a press release now that mortgage rates are seven percent people are paying less for houses here are some tips that you can use to sell your house fast people are going to call plain and simple but if i say oh uh, today we are going to talk about real estate real estate is the act of selling houses if you have a house that needs to be sold then you need a no we want to talk about good stuff people are going to want to read and that is why this is so important and if you just learned what you learned in these 90 minutes and you like it smash a like button because i guarantee the next time you watch this watch it two or three times this has the stuff that could be the difference between sitting there and making nothing and having a side hustle that could be worth millions and millions of dollars if not at least sixty dollars an hour and if you like it smash a like button check out the videos in the description they're going to go into even more detail on what i've been doing for like 23 years oh yeah and you can check out the links that were flashing at the bottom too have a good one guys